Okay, for today's lesson, you will need page three of the unit 10 packet, your calculator, your periodic table, something to write with, um, maybe a sheet of paper if you're taking the notes um, not on page three. Um, so one thing I wanna make sure that we understand before we start solution stoichiometry is what molarity really means. So if I have a 0.5 molar solution of anything, that means that there are 0.5 moles of solute per one liter of solution because molarity actually means moles per liter. So I can look at molarity not as a big M but as moles per liter so then I can use this uh, as a conversion factor um, to solve for moles, solve for liters, or solve for molarity. Um, just like any other conversion factor like molar mass or molar volume. We would use it kind of the same way. Okay. So let's um, go ahead and pull out the lesson for today, which is page three. And at the top, um, it does give a little reminder that since molarity is moles per liter, it can be used as a conversion factor in stoichiometry. You also want to keep in mind that one liter is a thousand milliliters since um, we have to have um, milliliters, in, you have to convert those to liters before you can use them in um, the equation. All right, so we're going to calculate how many grams of calcium hydroxide are needed to neutralize or another way of saying that is react with 25 milliliters of a 0.1 molar solution of nitric acid. So of course the first thing we need to do is write the balanced equation. So we're gonna write out calcium hydroxide and nitric acid. We have a double replacement reaction, so the calcium and the hydrogen are going to switch places, and we will get calcium nitrate, which would be in solution, and water, which you can actually write that as HOH to help you balance. There's two nitrates here, so I'll put a two here, a two here, and that balances our, our, our equation. The next thing we're going to do is set up our dimensional analysis to solve this problem. We wanna know how many grams of calcium hydroxide so how many grams are needed to react with 25 milliliters? And this is a 0.1 molar solution. So our starting value is the 25 milliliters. Okay. Keep in mind that molarity actually stands for moles per liter. So if it's a 0.1 molar solution, that means there are 0.1 moles of solute per liter of solution. So I can use this as a conversion factor. Remember, it has to be in liters. So I'm gonna go from milliliters to liters, then from liters to moles of um, nitric acid, or yeah, HNO3, nitric acid. This is of nitric acid, okay. Then I can do my mole to mole ratio. So I can switch to moles of calcium hydroxide here and then once I have moles of calcium hydroxide, I can get two grams of calcium hydroxide. Okay. So I know that there are a thousand milliliters in one liter. Since liters are up here, liters go down here. Now this is where I can use molarity. Um, since, mo since the molarity is 0.1 moles um, molar, that means there's 0.1 moles per one liter of solution. Um, then I'm gonna put nitric acid, moles of nitric acid at the bottom here and use my mole to mole ratio. So for every two moles of nitric acid, we need one mole of calcium hydroxide and one mole of calcium hydroxide. Um, you can use your periodic table to get molar mass. That's 74.10 grams. Okay, now we can use our calculators to solve this problem. So we have 25 divided by 1,000 times 0.1 divided by 2 times 74.1 and we get 0 0.0926 grams so if I wanted to fully react all 25 milliliters of a 0.1 molar solution of nitric acid I would need to add 0 0.0926 grams of calcium hydroxide to that solution to react to all of the nitric acid. Okay, let's go ahead and try the next one. 
We want to know how many grams of sodium hydroxide are needed to neutralize 20 milliliters of a 0.1 molar sulfuric acid solution. So again, start with your balanced equation, NaOH plus H2SO4. Do a double replacement, so we get Na2SO4, because sulfate's minus two and sodium's plus one. And then we can write water as HOH, and that can help us balance it. So we'll need a two here and a two here. All right, so we're starting with um, 20 milliliters of a 0.15 molar solution of sulfuric acid. So I have 20.0 milliliters of a 0.15 molar, which really means I have 0 0.150 moles per liter of solution. And we want to know how many grams of sodium hydroxide we need. Okay, so we're going to start with the 20 milliliters of H2SO4. Convert that to liters, then convert it to moles of sulfuric acid, and then use my mole ratio to go to moles of sodium hydroxide, then go to grams of sodium hydroxide. Okay. So I'm going to put one mole of NaOH down there, moles of sulfuric acid down here, and then one liter down here. So let's fill in our numbers. A thousand milliliters equal to a liter. One liter of sulfuric acid has 0 0.150 moles in it. That's based on the molarity. Then I can use my mole to mole ratio, two moles of NaOH to every one mole of sulfuric acid. And sodium hydroxide weighs 40.01 grams. Okay. So let's go ahead and do the math in our calculator, 20 divided by a thousand times 0.15 times 2 times 40.01 and we get point with three sig figs point two point two four zero grams of sodium hydroxide that we would need to mass out to react to all of the sulfuric acid Okay, our letter C is asking how many liters of a 0.5 molar hydrochloric acid solution are needed to completely react with 0.1 moles of lead to nitrate, forming the precipitate of lead to chloride. So let's write out our reaction. We have hydrochloric acid and lead to nitrate. Then we have a double replacement. We would call this a precipitation reaction. So we get HNO3 and PbCl2, and that's our solid. Um, we need to balance by putting a 2 here and a 2 here. We know that the hydrochloric acid is a 0 0.50 molar solution, which really means that there are 0 0.50 moles per 1 liter of solution. And we want to know how many liters. Um, we also know that we are starting with, um, we also are... starting with um, 0.1 moles of lead nitrate. Okay, so we can start with moles. So we're gonna start with 0.1 moles of lead nitrate. Okay, from there I can use my mole to mole ratio because um, we're gonna get to moles of hydrochloric acid. And put moles of lead to nitrate on the bottom. Then I can go to, I can put moles of hydrochloric acid on the bottom here and get to liters of hydrochloric acid. And so mole to mole ratio, two moles of hydrochloric acid to one mole of lead nitrate. And using the molarity, every one liter of hydrochloric acid has 0 0.50 moles. Okay, so we'll have 0 0.1 times two divided by 0 0.5, try that again, 0 0.1 times two divided by 0.5. So that tells us that this we need 0 0.40 liters of a hydrochloric acid solution. Okay. All right, so we're gonna do the practice on page four and then the problems on Chem 101. I'm going to post a separate video with the solutions to page four.